exterior, railroad through hydro field, day. Young boy creaking wheelbarrow mannequin parts tracks. Smudged with dirt clothes are ragged. He stops for a moment, remove his cap, and mop sweat from his brow, cuff of his suit jacket. He continues, wheelbarrow weaves and thumps over the rail ties. Exterior, park, day. The woman is perched atop a picnic table. Dirty white fur stole and shift. Mannequin parts spill over the bench and onto the ground. She gnaws a plastic arm and surveys the park. The boy hurries along a trail into the park, dumps his haul at the woman's feet. She leaps down, sifts through new parts, examining random torsos, heads, hands. She picks a blank faced head, waltzes in circles. She falls dizzily to her knees. The boy strokes her long hair. She looks into his eyes, straightens his tie with trembling fingers, cups his head between her hands, kisses his forehead. She struggles to stand. The boy supports her. She climbs back to lie in her nest staring heads. The boy turns creaking sound. Two mannequin children play on swings in a playground far side of the park. He hears laughter prone and absorb her feasting. A smile twitches on he sneaks towards the playground. A hand hard on his shoulder and whirls him around. The woman's eyes bulge. She bears running yellow teeth. She snarls and shakes him. She points wheelbarrow and shoves him toward the trundles. He can still hear the laughing children. Exterior. Railroad through hydro field. Dusk. The boy carts his empty wheelbarrow back, shoulders hunched, moving quickly. He passes a hydro tower, an old abandoned factory. Exterior, beneath bridge. Night. Tall, iron struts, bridge overhead, rise high above black space. The boy crosses beneath creaking wheelbarrow, engulfed by darkness, two streetlights. Exterior, row houses. Night. Sidewalk a series of small houses, setting his wheelbarrow down first door, rings the elm. door opens, glowing yellow porch light illuminates a mannequin standing on the threshold, the boy perfectly still thin clasps his throat, he drags his finger across, a slitting gesture, bears his small teeth, the mannequin pitches into the wheelbarrow, is still, moving to the next house, sets down his cart again. Exterior, park. Night. Full moon hangs, branches swaying. Moon stands beneath an next movement. Outstretched arms, eyes roll back. A pile of mannequin parts has dwindled to a pair of arms. She grasps her belly. Nothing left to eat, no sign of the boy. She pulls her stole tighter and scans the borders. Fences separate yards from the park grounds. She sees bedrooms, blue light of televisions, figures moving. She finds the mannequin children from the playground. One is tucked in already. The other stands at the window, looking out on shadows. The woman smiles, lopes towards the fence, like a wolf stalking her prey. Thin squeaking announces the boys return to the park, dumps the night's cash, now dismembered, foot of the picnic table and looks around, sees her pale form at the edge of the fence, creeping along its length beneath the mannequin children's window. His eyes widen, he runs. Exterior, edge of backyard, night. The woman has one leg over the fence, he grabs her other leg, she shakes him off, falls into the backyard, she avoids the light from the window, pressing against the wall. She looks back, bares her teeth, but he shakes his head. He points at the picnic table, the woman sees a pile of limbs, her eyes widen, then narrow to slit, glances back to the window, the light goes out. The boy gasps, leaps up, and over the fence, the woman climbs the wall, he clutches her ankle, pulls, she tries to shake him off, kicking at him until he yelps. She loses her grip, and they fall together in a heap, the woman climbs to her feet, kicks him hard in the ribs, she climbs back over the fence. Clutching his ribs, the boy steals a glance up at the children's window, smiles as the light goes on, stumbles towards fence. Exterior. Park. Dawn. Train sounds in the distance. The boy crawls out from beneath picnic table and rubs his eyes. The woman still sleeps, her stole bunched pillow beneath her head, the wheelbarrow empty again. He kicks it, falls on its side, clang. The woman stirs, opens her eyes, squints, blinking, watching him frowning, his arms crossed, jaw set. Her face softens, she climbs down. The boy doesn't flinch, she caresses his cheek. He looks into her eyes and waits. Her hand freezes and she draws it back. Distant laughter catches the boy's ear. He looks off and the woman follows gaze. Two mannequin children returned. The woman looks back at the boy, his smile. Fade, clasps his hands, kneels before her. The woman points mannequin children, shakes her head. She touches the top of his bowed head, musses his hair. He looks up at her and points to the wheelbarrow. The wheel still revolving, his turn to shake his head. Creaking of the swings begins again. The woman turns away. Gaze travels atop of the trees lining the park. Bird in silhouette flaps its wings, recedes into hazy morning light. She turns back to the boy and meets his gaze. A moment passes. The woman nods. The boy smiles and closes his eyes. She steps back, one hand up, grasps her throat, drags her finger across it. Exterior. Railroad through hydro field. Dawn. Tattered rag of newspaper tumbles down the tracks, gentle wind. Nothing else moves. The bells ring in the distance, and echoes of children's laughter drift on the air.